Hi everybody, it's Tatiana and today I have another book review and I will be reviewing Minion by L.A. Banks. Let me start this by saying I hate to have to do this review in the way that I have to do it. I really did not like this book. I wanted to so bad. I have to tell you the story briefly behind this book. I bought this in 2004, the year it came out on paperback. So I have owned this book for 10 years. I attempted to read this book as soon as I bought it because it was about, it was by a black author with a black character, female lead, that's a vampire hunter uh, or a slayer. And as somebody who is a huge fan of the Buffy franchise, I was looking forward to being able to read a vampire hunt huntress slash slayer story from our perspective. This is as far as I got 10 years ago. I was very surprised that the page was still dog-eared. This is page 79, and I couldn't make myself go any further, and that was 10 years ago. The entire time I was reading it, I felt like it was a knockoff of Buffy the Vampire Slayer. I was kind of offended <laughs> a little bit because everything that worked so well in the Buffy franchise failed so miserably in this book. All of the quips fell short. Uh, it was too much slang. It was like they flew through the first five seasons of Buffy, I think, to season five in this one book and then backtracked a little bit back to season one, then brought it back. It, I just, I didn't like it. The story follows Damali Richards and she is a vampire huntress and she has this team of guardians. So that was, you know, one thing that was supposed to be different instead of having one watcher or as later came with Buffy, two watchers, there were, there's this team of guardians that they have dwindled in numbers down to the team that is surrounding her in this book. But even with all of the guardians that they have, there of course is one lead and that lead guardian is hiding things that or not telling things that are important as she is coming of age and there's this huge this change that's going through her and her come of age year is 21 versus 18 in Buffy the Vampire Slayer but Buffy also had a change of age or a coming of age at age 21 so there were so many things that were parallel and I would have made those parallels even if I finished this book back in 2004 because Buffy had been out for years prior to that. For me, the best part of this book was the prologue, which is like eight pages long. After that eight pages, it just, it, it just was not worth my time reading. And I really wanted to like this book because I have a couple of friends who have read this book and further and read further on in the series and they talk about it like it's so good. It ain't. I gave it one star on Goodreads and I just, I really wanted to, I mean the, the praise on the back of it, there's praises from two authors whom I respect greatly, Tanana Reeve Du and Brandon Massey. They both enjoyed it. Tanana Reeve Du said, Minion is an action-packed journey through a world of vampire hunters and hunted, told with the flavor and rhythm of the hip-hop generation. If you enjoy Anne Rice, Blade, and Buffy, then Minion is the novel you have been waiting for. I enjoy Anne Rice. I love Blade. Hi, Wesley Snipes. Love Buffy. This was this this was not what I've been waiting for. Not at all. If you read this and you liked it, comment in the comment in the comments below just so that there are some counter opinions on this because I really hate to feel like I'm bashing the novel when really the novel just was not for me. For me, this was a waste of time. I want my time back. I can't get it back. <sighs> So that's all that I have for today. I hope you have a good week, weekend, whenever you see this video. Peace out.